Whoa, Nellie, what's wrong with this picture? You know, even though these posts are decorative and they're not holding up the roof, they ought to be anchored down. It is a good place to hide the key, though. We're going to show you how easy it is to anchor the posts down and make them look better at the same time. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that this is plumb. And we'll look at our level here, and we can see that it is out of kilter. Oh, now that we've got it level, I'll check the other side. Yep, it's all squared away. Next, we're going to draw an outline down here. To draw an outline on all four sides. Now we have a pattern, and we just push this out of the way. And what we're going to do is install this into the concrete down here. It's going to be easy to do. We'll just have to drill holes in the concrete. Now what we're using here is a hammer drill. You probably don't have one, but you can sure rent one, and it makes the concrete drilling go a lot easier. Next, I secure the bracket to the porch with concrete screws. Well, with this anchor, now all we have to do is pull the post back in. Well, maybe we better hammer it in a little bit. All right. Now that the post is positioned in the bracket, we'll secure it with two screws on each side. Well, it's nice and sturdy, but it's not exactly a thing of beauty. I'll tell you what we're going to do, though. We're going to trim it out and make it look a lot prettier. Now, what we're doing is we're making some molding to go around the bottom of that post. And we're mitering it so it's going to look a little bit better. And what we have to do now is cut off the other end. And I think we'll be in business. One more cut and we've got it made here. Now let's put the whole thing together. Well now for the big cover up. Get that baby lined up there, and be sure you miss the metal plate down there. And you can see it's going to look pretty doggone good when we get it covered up. But this 1x6 base mold still looks a little rough, so I'm going to finesse the finish a little bit with some decorative molding. Now this is called shoe mold. It's actually about like a quarter round. And we're going to go around the bottom here and hide everything that we've done so far. Almost everything. Now here's the last piece of the shoe mold. But wait, there's more. We're going to put this trim up here at the top and I think you're going to agree that we really have done a nice job here. Well, as you can see, the trim really does help. It's looking a lot better. We put a coat of paint on this baby. It's going to look wonderful, and it is solid as a rock. 